Did you know this when transferring files via AirDrop or any other service that it doesn't show your name correctly? Let me show you how to customize your Mac name. There are basically three names of your Mac, so this video is split into three parts so you can easily find what you are looking for. But if you want to boost my YouTube watch time, you should watch it all. Mac of course has the official name, the model name which you can't change. But you can at least view it by going to the Apple menu and then selecting about this Mac. The official name of your Mac is right here. It's usually a model name like MacBook Pro or iMac. Sometimes it's followed by a screen size, which can be 13 inches, 16 and so on. And it always includes a year, sometimes followed by the word early, late or mid and other specifications can be Thunderbolt ports like I have here. But anyway, you can't do anything with this name. But besides that model name, your Mac does have a name that you can customize. It's part of your sharing preferences, because the name is used when you are doing things like sharing files or screen sharing. So you need to go into system preferences and then look for sharing. This is the name of your Mac and you can change it to whatever you want. If you have multiple Macs of same model, it might be more useful to actually have a person's name in it, like I call it here, Lux MacBook Pro. You can call it whatever you want, but shorter is usually better. You always see this name while sharing files or looking at your list of devices in iCloud, which I will show you in a minute. Just a quick note here, there are actually two names. There is a computer name and also your local network name, which you can see right under. It's basically the same without the spaces. Interesting thing is that you can press edit and give it a different name. You can just put a Mac without the name for example, so in your local network it will not be showing your name, but just the model of your Mac. At the end it doesn't have any other effect, so you can just leave it the same. If I make any changes here, as soon as I press return, it sets the local network name to be matching the changes again. Except the sharing dialogs, another place you will see your Mac name is in the list of your Apple devices. If you go to system preferences and then click on Apple ID on top, on the left is a list of all your devices that are registered to your Apple ID. It's going to use the name we set before. It might actually take a while to update, so if you just change the name, don't expect to see it here right away. It could take several minutes or even hours. The same list of devices can be found on iCloud.com as well. If you go to Safari and open the website, go to your account settings and you will see a list of devices here as well. And it will use the same name. Now we are getting to another option, name of your Mac. That's actually not the name of the computer itself, but the name of the user account. That's the name which appears on the lock screen when you log into your computer. And also, if you open your home folder, the name matches that user account. In system preferences, if you go under users and groups, you will find this name there. But there is no edit button, and it's for a reason. Here you can only edit the profile picture if you click on it, but not the name itself. I don't recommend to do it at all unless you have a very good reason for changing the name of your user account. It's complicated and a dangerous thing to do. But if you really need to do it, make sure everything is backed up before you even try, because it can mess up a lot of things. In the description below I will link your official Apple support page for it. It describes the setup. You basically need to log in into a different account, changing the name of the home folder there and then come back to the system preferences. You will go back to this page, open the log to make changes and if you control click the account you will be able to get to the advanced options. Again all of this needs to be set correctly, all according to the setup page. But even if you do everything right, you might end up with a problem. Certain apps and certain settings might refer directly to that home folder name, which you are now changing, and you will need to be setting all of this separately as well. 
so really avoid changing this name if you can. Anyway, this is just the name of your home folder, nobody will see it. More often, you will use your iCloud name in the sharing option, so it makes sense to change that one. I hope I made a difference clear. If you find it useful and want to help my channel, leave a like below. It also makes a big difference for me and for YouTube algorithm. Anyway, it's up to you. Thanks for watching.